Hey everyone, welcome back to our social media workshop, uh, our continuing series where we are going to impart some social media tidbits, I guess. I um, want to say a shout out to Kelsey Laka. Hey, Kelsey. Ready to get going on here? So I today, am, I am. All righty. So here we're going. Okay. So today we're going to be imparting information about creating content and what does that look like? So what is content? It's any kind of information that's going to be shared across your platforms and how it's going to be displayed. Kelsey's going to talk about the benefits. Yes. So um, defining what kind of content that you want to share with your audience, whether that, and we can go into this more later, but um, there will be different ways that you can create content. But overall, the benefits of developing your content and understanding what you want to put out there in the world just aligns with your overall content strategy, which we'll talk about later on. Um, it streamlines your whole entire process. Um, once you figure out your real cover, then, um, and sorry, I have my little kid at home today, so just FYI, <laughs> but she's all good. She's just snacking. Um, anyway, so it uh, helps just understand your overall uh, strategy. And also, um, once you figure out, you know, a real cover, then it'll take you that much faster to figure out the next time you do it. And then um, just going back and looking at your overall performance and how you need to adjust things. If maybe one post didn't do well, why is that? Is it because it was delivered this way and maybe it could be changed this way. So it just helps with your overall um, content uh, strategy. And then, so defining your content. So when we say content, uh, again, any information that you put out to the world and how you're going to deliver that, whether that's text, media, um, if it's through a trending audio, if it's um, a reel or if it's a live, whatever it is, it's just what, how are you going to put your information out in the world? Um, so text examples, these are going to be blog posts, uh, Twitter posts, um, or thread or X now, um, email marketing, eBooks, newsletters. And then we have image examples. So this could be graphic design things, um, pictures that you take, infographics, stock photos, um, any of that. And then video examples, um, a day in the life, a behind the scenes, a live tutorial, Zoom, uh, B-rolls, which if we're not familiar with that, it could, I could be having a camera right here and it's just a um, B-roll of my life. Or, you know, if I just want to take a video of, I go to the lake and I want to use that later on, or if I'm just sipping my coffee, it's whatever you choose to do that not necessarily has any um, action or verbs to it. You could really apply that video to any of your text. Um, so content format. So understanding what platform you are putting your information out is very important. So um, Twitter thread, I guess Twitter slash X thread, um, it's gonna be short and concise. Uh, newsletters, I mean, it's going to be a, um, you know, here's a month at a glance. If you're a small business owner, um, it's going to be an opt-in page to grow your audience. Um, emails to notify audience and ask them to engage or just let them know, hey, we have this promotion going on or, hey, we just released, you know, this new ebook for you. And then blogs, that'll be your SEO words, uh, backlinks, you know, a longer uh, text formats. And then Instagram. So um, Instagram and Facebook do kind of go hand in hand considering they are owned by the same company. But uh, Instagram is very uh, short and concise. So, And oftentimes that's reels, which is a video format. Um, but they also do uh, carousels and single image posts. Um, you know, and a lot of people, they either do a picture or they just do a graphic with a text on it. But those are going to be your reels are going to be your short and concise ones, maybe four to seven seconds. And then um, Facebook, you know, those could be your longer segments, you know, i.e. like this is where we put out our um, social media workshops is majority on Facebook because someone's log, you know, coming on to watch a 10 minute video, whereas I wouldn't do that on Instagram. And then YouTube, um, that's really going to be your long a uh, storytelling audience. So it's going to be, um, I mean, it could be anywhere from 
five minutes to three hours long. It just depends on how you're wanting to deliver that format. And I'm just going to add a two cents about uh, YouTube because as you, if you want to start a channel for YouTube, it's a great way to actually repurpose a lot of the stuff that you've had before or expand on it or what, whatever. And because Kelsey and I do this together, um, it's a nice format for us to share and come together. So with my YouTube channel, not only do I use it for, you know, mostly I use it for informational purposes like these media workshops. Uh, and I just learned something about playlist that um, came to my attention. I thought you just had to put it in there, but playlist actually you can organize it. So when people are, for example, if they're just looking for our social media workshops, they, this will be under social, social media um, because I do real estate investing. I have um, YouTube videos about that too. So YouTube is a way to long-term engage your audience. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then um, image. So again, we talked about uh, Instagram as one of those platforms that does both. Um, but LinkedIn, you know, sometimes if you want to create a fun uh, infographic about the stock market, um, because investors and realtors, realtors, they need to know about that or uh, in general, what a company is providing as a service. Um, Facebook, you could definitely do uh, an image there. And then Instagram, um, I do still see a lot of people using pictures on their main profile, but also to their stories as well. That is a great place to showcase any images you have. Um, so mixed content. So this really depends on who is your audience. So, you know, if you're going for a younger generation, majority of them are going to be on TikTok. But if you are maybe someone that's wanting to showcase more of your DIY um, home furnishings, things like that, that's going to be towards probably Pinterest because it's more visual image, um, you know, related. And a lot of people go there uh, for ideas. And then um, WhatsApp and WeChat, you know, that's more for those direct communications and, you know, what do they want to see on their social media? How do you want to engage with them? So, um, you know, if you're wanting to engage with them on a regular basis, more likely WhatsApp, WeChat is going to be that. Um, whereas, you know, if it's just wanting to showcase something, it's going to be on Pinterest and TikTok. Yeah. And can I just piggyback on that, Kelsey, where we've talked about this with our clients is that, you know, it's, you have to know where your audience is hanging out. Uh, mm -hmm. It makes no sense uh, for you to use TikTok if that's not where your audience is or yeah. Pinterest or whatever it may be. So you do have to kind of know where where yeah. your audience is and then what do they want to see, right? Yep. Yep. So. All right. We both want to say thank you for watching um, and be a part of our community. So do uh, give us a follow uh, for the channel because it helps us helps us some gals out here. Um, if you want to see more of us, uh, join our Facebook community, Ignite the Wealth. Um, you can also go onto our website, um, www.ignitethewealth. And if you want more assistance in the social media arena, just leave us some comments about what, you know, what questions you have, what information, because we continue to, um, as we build this uh, media workshop for you all. So Kelsey, how do you want to say bye today? Adios. <laughs> Adios, everyone. And hey, catch us next time. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much.